Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are in the third day of our Japanese campaign on War on the Sea. Uh, we have been sent packing with our tail between our legs. Uh, that is uh, entirely my fault for being a little bit too aggressive and uh, not familiar with the uh, strategy of the AI in the Tokyo Express mod. Um, we've had quite a few of our ships lost so far. Uh, a lot of merchants, a couple submarines, and then we lost uh, a few destroyers as well. Uh, the enemy losses is about half of what ours is. So, But we have sunk more warships. Not that that means anything. Uh, we've got the Momi that in the last episode took a pounding, but managed to uh, get out of the slot. We're going to bring her up and release her. Um, been looking around. Something I've got in mind is increasing the port level on Shortland Islands to level 3 so I can rearm here. Um, right now we're going to go and expect the damages on all of our ships. Uh, I'm going to have to release some of these guys. And those that don't get released are going to have to be rearmed. It's like uh, Keiko is fine. This says heavy, heavy damage, um, but they're still at 100% efficiency for their combat effectiveness. So, it's like this whole group is probably, uh, let's see, what's the damages on you? Alright, so this whole group is okay to stay in service. So we're just going to move them up to Rabal and rearm them. Task Force 1 is probably another story. We've got uh, heavy damages, 100% efficiency, so Fubuki is okay. Uh, Aoba is okay. Uh, let's see, 93% and 99%. Uh, weaponry is fine. Moderate damage and minor flooding. So far, all of our weapons are functional, so uh, these guys are going to head up as well and rearm. We'll get them up there. I've been thinking about, let's see, there's four in this group and five in this group, so if I combine these two uh, into one surface group... We could uh, patrol out here, but I'm not going to extend much further than this line right here as it stands right now. We're four days away from getting more command points, and then we could put together um, another surface group as well as uh, another transport group because all our transports got shredded. And I'm not even sure if I can uh, get myself a sub to come take these three islands here. For the time being, my priority is to get this up to a level three port for uh, rearming purposes. Let's take a look, uh, see what we can do here. 12 command points. 12 command points not available. Uh, we could probably do a destroyer ex escort. We could do three of them. Or two smaller ones. I don't really want to use the command points though. But I may not have a choice and then send them with their troops to drop off uh, 
an invasion force in either one of these islands. This might not be a bad idea either. Uh, mostly that's just for the command points at the end of the week. Although if we just dropped off a minimal amount of troops, um, they would fall very fast if they got invaded. So that is the current situation. Uh, I'm going to set up some air patrols, get them up and about, and hopefully we can come up with a uh, American task force to attack from the air. <clears throat> That'll be a good way to get a few more command points while we're waiting. Um, patience is the name of the game. My strategy go, uh, at the beginning of the campaign was, um, like I said, way too aggressive. So we're going to bide our time, get our command points, and then go from there. Okay, so we have our first ship sighting in three days. We've got this roof here, and they've detected uh, one cruiser, one destroyer, five ships very fast. So I've launched attack planes from Shortland, Buka, and Rabal. Uh, we're going to send them all down there. I've also launched a scout from one of these areas here. Uh, they've got 298 miles, so we're going to readjust their course to keep a eye on th this guy here. Hopefully we can uh, keep sight of him. Um, see if we can launch. No, nope, we got to wait. Can we launch anything? Oh, yeah, we released the uh, light carrier to rearm its uh, air wing. Uh, task Force 1, I'm going to have you come down a little bit just to kind of provide some surface uh, combatant force. Once the uh, carrier comes back, I don't know. Um, we got one day. I don't know how that works, if we get the command points back for it or not. But uh, she's two days out getting her planes. So we're going to go into tactical and uh, see what we've got here. There they are right there. I did send out all my scouts unarmed. So we have nothing to attack them with right now. There they are right over there. Let's take a look, see what we've got. It's like a destroyer and some form of cruiser. So let's take a closer look here. Oh, nice. One of the newer uh, ships that the mod adds. A two ship convoy, I'm okay with that. We got one destroyer. Let's see if we can identify this ship here. I mean, she's a heavy. Oh, they're shooting at us. Maybe we should get our... Hopefully we can uh, not get shot down here. It might even be a British ship. Let's... Yeah, I'm thinking it might be British. British light cruiser, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's what she is. Crown Colony class. Okay, so now we know what we're up against. Let's get out of here. And hopefully we can pick up the, uh, the two ships with our attack planes. Over 
we're starting to see fighters, so... Hopefully they didn't give us the slip. Counter with a ball. Let's get some fighters up. Have them come down in this area, and then zeros are going to patrol above the uh, Task Force 1. They've got plenty of range to do so. Just got to get them down there first. Oh, where are they? Where are they? Yeah, they're starting to swarm us with planes, so let's see if we can follow them in. Oh, where did they go? It's a bit frustrating. All of our attack planes have run out of fuel. And so is our air cover. So let's see what we have to launch. Oh, it's too dark. It's the middle of the night. That'd all be fun to get into a surface engagement. So we're gonna pull you back just a little bit, but keep you in the combat area. Uh, we're up to day five. Okay, so we have a supply convoy, two ships, Maybe one oiler. I've launched attack planes from these bases. Everyone's heading straight for the uh, supply convoy. So let's uh, get them into position. Still haven't sighted the uh, surface group, those two ships over here. Uh, encounter with Rabal. I'm kind of wondering what that's all about. See if we can get some uh, air cover up. Those Hayabusa's right there are the only thing that we have for the time being. There we go. We got some Hayabusa's up here. Send them down. Uh, 246 nautical miles. And we are going to engage whatever happens to be out there, plus the supply convoy. Uh, we do have bombs on our Hayabusa's, so there's one supply ship. Okay. So just move in on the attack. Speed things up a little bit. Might be a decent time to practice the uh, manual firing. But I've got my hands full just, uh, just doing this, so... Kind of curious where they might be going. Okay. I believe the uh, Hayabusa's do have enough uh, firepower to strafe. Especially considering we completely missed. See what they're uh, 
weapon is two machine guns. Well, maybe not. Oh wait, that's a walrus. Why does it say a walrus? Why you? Probably would help if I was looking at the Japanese, huh? Hayabusa, what do you have? Two machine guns. Alright, well that did little to nothing. Minor damage. Uh, what do you have for range? Endurance, 228 miles, so we're gonna keep you patrolling in this area. Like that. Hopefully you can... There we go. There's, uh... Three ships. So we'll move... You in on the attack. You... And you... As long as we keep sight on them... Yeah, that's, that's what I want. We'll just keep patrolling above them. Not sure what this encounter with Rabal is. Alright, the Hayabusas are uh, in contact with some enemy fighters. So we will uh, give them time to spot us. Here's our lone transport that we're gunning for. And here's the fighters that are going to mess us up. So. Looks like there's four of them. Alright, Hayabusas. Well, there's one of them. We got one of them. Oh, it looks like there's more than four. Let's see if we can at least get one more. Fly right through it. Shoot. <laughs> turns away. Alright, let's try and, uh... I guess we can't take control here. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Let's see if we can't manually put some of these Enemies on the ground or in the drink. Dodge, dodge. They're on our tail. <laughs> Let's go after this guy. He's smoking. Run away. Come back. Oh, why didn't you fire? Almost got him.
it. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Well, whoops. Maybe I'll crash into the ship. Nope. I wonder if I can steer him over there. Nope. And down he goes. Alright. So our attack force is moving in. We've got the uh, these other Hayabusas over here as well. Let's uh, kind of want to see if I can coordinate this with everybody available. Okay, so Hayabusas come in. You're coming in as well, so are you. See if we can keep him over the target long enough without getting engaged by those fighters. For the rest of our force to get here. Oh, maybe not. So let's make our first attack run. Uh, we do have bombs. Hopefully we can get those bombs off. Alright, what do we have here? Let's try and uh, get into position. Let's drop down and do some skip bombing. Speed things up. Hopefully we can do this before the uh, fighters show up and shoot us down. attack. If we can pull this off, it'll be a pretty good uh, attack. I've never actually skipped bomb before, so... And here come the fighters. Are they on the deck? They are. Racing to save their uh, supply ship. Looks like we're dropping our bombs. There we go, magazine cargo explosion. We did lose one. Let's get you guys out of here. If that's even possible. They're so slow. And here come the fighters to fuck us up. <laughs> There we go. Decent skip bottoming run. Uh, we got one of our... Uh, I think those are Emily's. Uh, Emily Heavy Bomber. Got one left, so we're going to leave. Oh, I guess they died. Well, that sucks. Okay, so now the rest of you... Can return to base. No need to put them in harm's way unnecessarily. Uh, Hayabusa's, we're going to have you stick around here. Actually, that's probably not a good idea. Return to base. Okay. Let's advance time and see if we can find anything else to bomb. Alrighty, so we've got our command points back for the Nishen being released from repair uh, gives us 36 command points which gives us enough to give it get a uh, Tayo class light carrier which has 18 zeros and 12 Kate torpedo bombers so we're going to go with that create a new C done and then we're gonna merge 
Uh, we're going to put you right in the middle. Swap position. Uh, let's go with a circular formation. See what that looks like. Keiko in the middle. Eh, I don't really like that one. Let's try... It doesn't look like an arrow, but probably because we don't have the ships to make up an arrow. Tango. That's kind of interesting. Convoy. Alright, so we'll go with this one. And we'll put the Keiko and the Tayo in the middle. with our light cruisers out along the periphery. And we'll send them send them down here for now. See what we can come up with. So far I haven't seen that surface group. That doesn't mean they're not out there. I'm going to be very protective of my uh, carrier planes. That is for sure. Uh, it's almost time for air operations to cease for the day. We are on day six, so one more day and we should get our command points back. Uh, these are hopefully fighter-based. Or not fighter-based, but ground-based fighters. Because that would be interesting if there was a carrier out here somewhere. So we will uh, get into day number seven and see what kind of command points we can come up with and what kind of surface group we can put together. Okay, Task Force 1 has a 4 a.m. encounter. Uh, it's either going to be the surface group that we saw earlier, those two ships, or it's going to be an American submarine. So, we are going to see what we can find, and hopefully this is visible. Select everybody. I, uh, turn off auto gunnery and brake. Okay, very dark, torpedoes in the water, Fabuki has spotted torpedoes from right here. Okay, turn on your sonar, turn on your sonar, sonar and Aoba. Want you to get out of here as fast as you can. Uh, we're gonna turn her into the torpedoes. Fubuki, let's slow you down. To ten knots. Hatsuyuki, slow you down as well. And you're gonna slow down. Actually, we're gonna keep you at full speed for the time being. Let's turn you to the starboard side. Turn you starboard as well. Okay, Aoba. You just got a book out of there. There's the enemy sub. So, Fubuki, you target her. You are going to steady up on course and slow down. We're going to have you... That's ridiculous. We're just going to have you turn like that. I 
have everybody target the sub. Let's get our depth charges set up. Four on and we'll go with six seconds. You are going to be my main destroyer of attack. Ah, oh, these nighttime engagements are just crazy, crazy dark. All right, she's diving, so we may not be able to swing around in time to uh, intercept her. But we do want to go nice and slow, so... Okay, Fabuki, you're going to speed up a little bit. We do kind of have her boxed in. See if we can come right across her. Let's turn our stern. She is turning away from us. I don't think any type of uh, attack would be now we could launch. We'll launch some. Okay, Fabuki. Slow you down. Have you head up? We're gonna have you head out. Hatsuyuki's coming in as well at 16 knots. Sea state 5, so it's not overly bad, not overly good. Okay, I don't think we're going to even come close to hitting her. Oh, maybe we did. Why won't you break? Some reason. There we go. Now break and do what I tell you. She's still uh, under propulsion, so. Slow you down a little bit. She's at five knots. I don't really want to pass her. We're going to get you out of here, out of the way. Okay, Fabuki. Have you steady up on course? Sub attack by moonlight. Okay, slow down a little bit. Have you start turning in? So dark you won't even be able to see the uh, outline even if she was on the surface. She isn't losing any depth or anything, so slow our turn a little bit. Try and run us right up her stern. Okay, bump up your speed, catch up with her. Okay. 
Okay, turn back. There we go. I'm going to try and get a little bit ahead of the sub. Okay, we did lose her, so let's swing our stern around a little bit, slow down. There she is right there. Okay, drop your depth charges. Oh, wow, what the hell. Those are good hits right there. Okay, she is going down. Let's see if she blows her ballast or just sinks. There we go. Sub down. And sub imploded. So we can leave. One command point for that sub. 906 tons. All right. So there are subs in the area. Still haven't encountered the... Surface group that we did earlier in the day. So we'll keep patrolling out here. I've got Task Force 2 kind of patrolling in this area. So let's uh, advance the time and bring about the end of week number one of Operation Mo. Okay, so we did get our command points for the week, and what I did with those is I created a new supply convoy. I've got enough supplies, engineering, and fuel here to send them down to Shortland and bump that up to a level 3 so we can have a forward operating base to resupply our ships. So let's get them down there and of course provide air cover for them the whole way. We've got Task Force 2 that's in pretty good shape here. Uh, we are going to be uh, putting up some air patrols. I'm just going to hold them in position right here for now. Um, Task Force 1 is patrolling over here looking for the uh, supply convoy or the um, duo of ships that we saw earlier yesterday. I'm going to bring them back a just a little bit. Actually, probably be better off to bring them over here and just have them patrol in this area until the supply convoy gets a little closer and then we'll move them into this area here. Uh, we are going to launch zeros from our ball and have them patrol above supply one the whole way. And uh, as they come closer, we're going to have uh, our light carrier put up a screen of zeros as well. Um, Kates, what we could do with the Kates depends on what the Americans do. We can definitely use the Kates as uh, an attack force for anything that we come up with in this area. So that's the plan going forward is to beef up Shortlands so we can resupply uh, there. Task Force One's going to be holding position out in here to provide cover for the supply convoy. Task Force 2 over here is going to hold position to provide air cover. 
and we will go from there. Now, I did use all the command points that I have available, so I wasn't able to uh, make any new surface groups or submarines, but that will come in the future. I'm going to go with the, uh, the added slow and steady wins the race. Not going to try and rush Guadalcanal right now. Um, our troops there are dying pretty fast anyway, so... Florida Islands might be the way to go. Well, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna we're gonna kind of try and set up a forward line right here. Uh, that'll be for a future episode, though. Let's uh, wrap this one up now. If you like the episode, hit that like button. It'll help the channel and series out a little bit. Uh, if you want to come along through the rest of the Japanese campaign, I'm kind of off to a bumbling start, but I think things are going to improve. Uh, as we move through week two of Operation Mo. If you want to come along through that, see if I can pull it off, hit the subscribe. Wouldn't mind having you guys come along. And as always, leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.